risks can't, you cannot take because we're in a Champions League. So, I mean, someone who's not been mentioned, who I still think has got a, has, has got a lot about him is Lukaku. I think Lukaku could do something. I've always said to myself, the way we play and the way he plays, you've got our wide players wide and you've got him a battering ram in the centre. I don't think there's many defenders or many defences who would like playing against that. Um, you chuck Jesus in who can play anywhere across the front line. Um, but again, you can mention all those names you mentioned. Also, man, I think Ivan Tony will be a perfect fit for us. Yeah. Um, but obviously, he's he's serving a ban. So yeah. you could maybe get away. With, I, I don't think selling Eddie's going to gonna do anything. I think you still keep Eddie because, let's be honest, and I know it kind of... Um, there was a lot of questions when Jesus went down. Eddie can't do this. Eddie can't do that. Eddie really kept us in the in the fight, didn't he? Kept us top for a bit. And yeah, he probably can't do it over a half a season or a season. Yeah. But when we needed him, he, he came up Trump. So again, I just think the bigger and, and more more uh, quality your squad is, the better. You know, I, I like Vlaovic. I, like, I wanted Vlaovic last January <laughs> or two Januaries ago. It didn't happen. Again, I think that will be a perfect fit for us. Juventus are, 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 have been struggling. They've had points stopped, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, I don't know what, what way Arsenal's going to go, but I still think we do need somebody who, when if we want to change it up, we can and uh, get somebody in there who can head it. I just, need to, I just need to ask you about the Lukaku thing. Um what do you feel like, because Lukaku's done so poor recently at Chelsea and even at Inter, they don't want to seem to want to keep him because of the money that he's on. Don't you feel like it would be such a risk to bring in a Lukaku that it might not be worth it? But do, do we know what Lukaku can do? We know what he can do, but... Exactly. Which... Well, that's what I want. I want a player who we know what we're going to get. Not if we bring him in and spend this money, what are we going to get? No. No. We need to know what we're going to get. And defenders need to be scared. That's what I want, Egal. Defenders need to be scared. Because, do you know, when we talk about Arsenal, when we don't have that killer instinct, because we never really kill the teams off. We always kind of leave them hanging around. No, we need to be able to bury teams. And then you could start taking players off and resting them because you've got a Champions League game midweek, you know. We're just not we're just not ruthless enough. Lukaku is one of those players who love scoring goals. And I'm not just saying him. Vlaovic or even Ivan Tony, these guys love scoring goals. We've got to be able to kill teams off. We got a, we got a shout here from one of the commenters. He said, uh, I, I rate this player, but maybe he's not ready yet. Evan Ferguson from Brighton. I don't think he's ready yet to be playing at the top level. Well, let's be honest. Is he going to be carrying our Champions League on his shoulders? No. No. Good young player. I like him. And maybe in a couple of years, he'll be another one of those who's leaving Brighton. But at the moment, 